Hi everyone, Amanda Rabideau, founder and CEO of Arch Collective and fractional CMO and startup advisor. I can't believe it's already over halfway through 2022. No idea where this year went, but what I do know, it's been one heck of a year, especially for startups. Every day the headlines have more announcements of layoffs, a reduction in the amount of venture capital funding, interest rates are rising, inflation's out of control. So no better time and no better reason to begin to evaluate how we are performing against our 2022 goals. Of course, in this video, I'm gonna focus on the marketing aspects, but you do wanna evaluate your entire business and use this as an opportunity to see, are there tweaks or improvements or adjustments you need to make in your plan in order to end the year as strong as you can? With that being said, let's talk about your 2022 mid-year review. It's rare that your marketing plan will remain static throughout the year. Of course, if something's working, keep on doing it. But now's the time to return to that plan and figure out what's worked, what's in the process of working, and what hasn't had any impact at all. The key to this, of course, effective business data. Your mid-year review should include evaluating your CRM and sales funnel, all of your marketing channels, your marketing budget, and aligning all of that to your marketing goals and KPIs. Are your conversion rates where they should be? Did you hit your MQL targets? If you did, what channels were the most impactful? Which ones were not? Which channels serviced the highest value clients and the lowest? What content had the most engagement? And the list goes on. I also recommend talking with your stakeholders. If you know me, you know I love a good voice of client interview. But in this case, it's not just your clients. Talk to your partners, your vendors, your investors, any businesses that have interacted with yours. And don't worry if it's in a positive or negative way, you really need to take a warts it all kind of approach to this feedback. The more you understand what you do right and wrong, the more power you have to make things better. A huge part of your B2B marketing efforts is around thought leadership and the content that you produce. Typically, tech startups want to establish themselves as experts in the field. So whatever your tech offering, you need to be known as the company that knows its shit. This means regular blogs, articles, eBooks, white papers, and video content. Not surprising, video content is the top way to engage people at the moment. 88% of enterprise marketers expect a significant uptick in the amount of video they create this year. Buyers want product demos, testimonials, even live events where they can engage and ask questions and get to know you a little bit. Take your mid-year review as the opportunity to plan out your content strategy for the rest of the year. You can align content seasonally, so if there's holidays coming up or dates that are important to your business, then be sure to include content for that. You can engage marketing experts to understand what type of content is most successful and even the best times to post. Is the morning better than the evening? A social media expert can definitely tell you. There are so many small changes that can make a huge impact on how you perform against your 2022 plan. If you haven't done and you're uncomfortable doing your mid-year business review, that's okay, Arch Collective has you. Feel free to schedule a 15 minute consultation and we can take you through our way of doing a marketing audit or a mid-year review for your business. I look forward to hearing from you. And if you like this kind of content, be sure to subscribe to my channel. See you next time.